Connect with us on Facebook at CCN TV6 Trinidad and Tobago. On X, using the handle at TV6 TNT. On Instagram, hashtag TV6 TNT. And via our website, www.tv6tnt.com. Welcome back. No arrests yet in the shooting of woman police constable Kiwana Mahabir, who was ambushed and shot at her Karani home early on Tuesday morning. While Mahabir continues to show signs of improvement at the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex, police say they are yet to arrest the perpetrators of the crime. Mahabir left Piaco International Airport shortly after 1 a.m. and drove to her residence a short distance away on Hydraulic Road in Karani. When Mahabir reversed her Mazda SUV into the yard, a black SUV that was following her vehicle pulled up on the road within seconds and two men, one armed with a gun, ran into the yard. They were unsuccessful in unlocking the driver's door. Shots rang out and the men escaped. Mahabir was shot in the head, stomach and right arm by one of the assailants. A female friend in the front passenger seat later rushed her to the hospital for treatment in the same vehicle. Police are searching for several suspects involved in the robbery of two employees who were delivering electronics on behalf of Court's furniture and appliance store to various customers. Investigators told TV6 News that the driver and loader of a Hyundai pickup truck went to make a delivery of an Apple MacBook at Parker Street in Port of Spain around 2.15 this afternoon to someone named Josiah Lopez. When the driver stopped in the area, he was approached by a man who claimed to be Lopez, who allegedly placed his hands inside a vehicle and switched off the ignition before announcing a robbery. Lopez, was then ordered, Lopez then ordered the driver and the loader out of the vehicle and robbed them of personal items. Five other men later approached the vehicle and ordered the driver to go to an area near the Mangaroos Community Center while two men kept watch over the loader. Investigators say at the Mangaroos location, six other men joined their accomplices and carted away three refrigerators that cost $18,900, as well as a $4,500 Mabi gas stove and an Apple MacBook valued at $7,000. Police say the driver was then handed the keys to his pickup truck and ordered to leave the area. He drove to the Basson Street Police Station and made a report. Four TNT nationals on drug-related charges in St. Vincent and the Grenadines have been hit with fines. Earlier this month, police charged Isaiah Phillips, Jaron Abraham, Damien Batiste and Shaquem Bola with possession of controlled drugs and drug trafficking. Police say they were caught with more than 108 kilograms of cannabis with the intent to supply to others. They, pl they pled guilty with an explanation and on Thursday, they were each ordered to pay a fine of 25,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars forthwith or spend one year in prison. Police have seized over $10 million worth of drugs during an exercise on Thursday in Point 14. Police say following a tip, an operation was conducted. Information collected during that operation helped officers to identify a key suspect and two locations in Point 14 where illegal items were being stored. Police say they then executed a search warrant at the locations and there they found 262 grams of powdered cocaine, 421 grams of crack cocaine and 93.64 kilograms of high-grade Colombian cannabis valued at over $10 million. Additionally, officers seized a magazine containing 15 rounds of 9mm ammunition. Two women were arrested during the operation. Bandits robbed a Pizza Hut location in central Trinidad last night. Now, according to police reports, three men of African descent entered Pizza Hut, that location in Kuva, shopping complex around 9.45 p.m. The store manager says they observed one of the men with what appeared to be a firearm, and the three announced a robbery when they entered the establishment. The workers were instructed to open the cash register, and fearing for, for their lives, they complied. An undisclosed sum of money representing the day's sales was taken. The bandits then instructed the employees to go to a back room where the manager was ordered to open the vault. This was done and a bag of money was taken from the vault before the suspects escaped the establishment on foot. A police investigation is underway. A Maruga man jogging in his neighborhood was ambushed and robbed at gunpoint on Thursday. 
According to the Express, the victim reported to the police that the bandits were clad in sweatpants and hoodies. A police report stated that around 5.15 p.m., the victim was jogging along Taylor Trace in St. Mary's when two men, both clad in exercise gear, emerged from a track off the roadway. One of the men pointed a firearm at the victim and demanded his valuables. The victim handed over his iPhone 11, valued at $4,200, and a gold chain valued at $11,200. The robbers escaped by running off the roadway. Two estate constables employed with Amalgamated Security Services Limited were accidentally shot on Thursday morning. One of the men's firearm discharged, hitting him and his co-worker. According to police reports, the estate constables, a 31-year-old man from Faisabad and a 43-year-old man from Orapuch, were in a marked Amalgamated Security Vehicle on patrol in Vance River, Guapo, when they stopped and one of the men exited the vehicle to urinate. He told police that when he was finished, he did an equipment check on his handgun and when he attempted to secure the weapon in its holster, he encountered some issues and while removing the holster from his waist, a loud explosion was heard. The estate constable reported feeling a burning sensation in his left thumb while his colleague felt a burning sensation in his right knee. He was able to drive to the Point Fortin Hospital where they were treated and later interviewed by police. The estate constable's firearm was taken and he was cautioned. Inquiries are continuing. Fisherman Ashley Job is tonight missing at sea. Relatives of Job told TV6 News he went out to sea from Bell Garden between the hours of 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Thursday, and to date he has not been seen. Personnel from the Tobago Emergency Management Agency, TEMA, and other authorities have been alerted and searches have been conducted. If seen, people are asked to call 800-TIPS-555-999 or the nearest police station.